down today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, really good intro it's not that complicated but this is what it's going to this is what it's going to look like <laughs> So they just all they all go around the main and then just so I do open Max on Cinema 4D and then you want to make four spheres and you want to name one big and then small small and small so you want to get the big one move it up make it pretty big you want it to be it's going to be the main sphere about that big then you want And these ones you want to make these different sizes. It's all depend on what you want. You usually have a really small one. And then a medium one and a bigger one. But it's up to you. So there you go, you've got those spheres and you want to go to MoGraph, clone the object. You want to make three of those. And then you want to drag one into there. And you want to make, click on the first clone object, go to mode and click grid array. Then you want the count to be this one to be one so then you see here but you do not want them to be touching just gonna warn you that now because it just won't work it's good enough I think I'll make those a little bit smaller actually. So you want them. There you go. <coughs> They're together now. So uh, you want to do just do the same for each one. So then I'll drag another one into another planar object. Then you want to go grid, grid array. Make the y axis one. And then that is a, that one's perfect though already. Then the last sphere. Clone oh. object grid array. One, you can make these a little bit. There you go, you just want to make them not too far apart. Now you've got the everything there ready, so 
what you want to do is you want to um, you want to get an a tractor object not there it's there there you go tractor and you want to move it right to the in the middle of the sphere right in the middle And then you want to make it just so just move these off the ground. Want to make it so everything's inside it. There we go, that's sorted. So now, if you go onto the attractor, then it'll say strength. Um, no, first you want to go right click on the spheres and go MoGraph tags rigid body and that's for every single one so when you play it nope that's not right They should, oh, it's because I haven't done that on the clone. Right, that, that's why. You want to do it to the clone objects. So now when you click play, there you go, see they all drop. Now it does look a little bit boring because there's no colours or anything so what we'll do is we'll add some colours. Double click down on the materials, double click that again and then first one I'll just have a red. And you want to have texture for now. I think that makes it look really cool. And then you want to do the same again. I have this a green. And then I'll have a blue. And then for the main one, you want to have a dark grey up there. 